Hi, I'm your host, Swapnil Bharatiya, and welcome to our series on tech predictions for 2021. Our next oracle is Bill Mann, CEO of Styra. Bill, first of all, it's great to have you on the show. We have covered Styra a lot, but it's great to uh, have you on the show for the first time. Hey, great to connect to you, dear. Now, it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell me what predictions do you have for 2021? Sure. Well, 2020 was a great predictor for 2021. You know, in 2020, we see a massive shift in the way we build and deploy applications. CNCF stated that 91% of organizations are using Kubernetes and 83% of them are using Kubernetes in production. So this massive change in the way we're building and deploying applications is actually happening. And for 2021, we're going to see this adoption accelerate. So there's going to be more clusters in the environment in production. There's going to be more ephemeral architectures, more flexibility for the organization, more more dynamic environments. So that is the big thing that's happening next year. I think, you know, with the coupling of COVID, you know, this whole digital transformation, this is all accelerated and it's going to continue to next year. We're going to see lots of new applications being built on this new cloud native architecture, mostly greenfield, you know, with new application stacks and so forth. So look forward to a lot of software development happening next year. As a consequence of this cloud native change, we're going to see fundamental changes in security and compliance as well. If you think about it, you know, these new Uh, App stacks are very flexible, they're very complex, they're highly distributed, which is going to take a, which is going to mean that there's going to be fundamental changes in the way we think about security and compliance for the organization. There's going to be a number of different things that are going to happen as a consequence of this in terms of changes for 2021. Firstly, the core of IT will change. You know, IT will have to embrace this new model. They have to, will have to embrace an open source model for you know, software architectures. They'll have to embrace DevOps changes as well. And as a consequence of privacy and security concerns, they will have to start implementing you know, policy earlier on in the process to handle the ephemeral nature of these environments. The third change that's going to happen is the way we hire and uh, you know, you know, improve the organization from a uh, from an employee perspective. The whole nature of the core of IT will change, so every every function within the IT organization will have to change over time. There will be requirements for hiring people who have got open source skills, infrastructure as code skill, policy as code skills. There will be a requirement where you know a, certain folks within the organization will become you know, stronger in terms of their, you know, contribution to the organization, specifically, you know, architects who will have a stronger voice in terms of defining their new architecture, the fact that they want standardization of functions and features and so forth. The move to Kubernetes and cloud native architectures is going to put a lot of pressure on security and compliance. The fact that we are now way more concerned about privacy and regulations than, than, than the past, the fact that most of these new applications are going to be brand new, there's going to be more and more requirements around security and compliance. As a consequence of that, core IT will change. Every job function within IT will have to change. It will have to embrace open source. It will have to embrace DevOps processes. It will have to embrace the fact that the workflow for building applications is going to fundamentally change. Thirdly, there's going to be a change in the roles of employees as well. Particularly, I think that the architect will have a strong voice moving forward in the organization. These folks have been in the organizations for a long time and they've previously been designing and implementing things which were not really implemented. But moving forward forward in this new world, their their voice will be stronger, their uh, their architectures will be applied both uh, across the production environments and the development environments. There will be the voice of standardization and the voice of incorporating security earlier on in the stack as well. And one big example, obviously, which is related to the area Styra is in, is around policy as code, where we are going to be moving away from this old-fashioned you know, definition of policies in PDF documents and so forth to more of a code-centric approach, right? So it can be built into the infrastructure from day one. Bill, thanks for sharing these predictions with us. Uh, I would love to have you back on the show in 2021 just to see how many of your predictions turn out to be true. And of course, to get your predictions for the next year. Thank you. 
Thank you.